What's up, everybody? Hey, welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you doing great today. Today, I thought I'd share with you a message that really, this is at the core of everything that I do. I mean, it's uh, it's something I share almost, if you've ever heard me speak at a live event, this is something you probably heard me talk about. Um, and this, this idea... Uh, well, I, I, I phrase it different ways, but the real idea behind it is this is how you can avoid negative temptations in your life. People say, how do I stay away from temptation? And it's very simple. It's your vision. It's your dream. It's not easy, but it's simple. You got to have a dream. You got to have something that wakes you up in the morning and pulls you out of bed and drives you to become better. It drives every decision that you make. You got to have a dream. You got to have a vision. And there aren't enough people who have a dream and have a vision. So the statistics will show you that there are so many people giving into temptation, and, you know, drugs and alcohol and uh, premarital sex. And just those are the obvious ones that we always talk about. But there are so many other things, uh, depression and, and things that come with the, that come along with those things. Um, Cheating on tests, um, cheating on your boyfriend, cheating on your wife. There are so many uh, temptations that come our way when we don't have a big enough dream. Your dream, your vision has to outweigh the temporary temptations of the moment. That's the number, the number one way I teach this to teenagers. The number one way you can avoid temptation, peer pressure. The number one way you can avoid peer pressure and temptations that come with the peer pressure is have a bigger dream have a bigger dream I don't know what that looks like for you I don't know what your purpose is I don't know what you were called here to do but you got to figure it out you got to know you got to have something bigger that you're chasing after and the truth of the matter is even if you never achieve the dream that you're chasing after you got to have it in your mind and you got to run after it in an effort to get there, that even if you don't get there, it has helped you fight temptation back here in the past. And it's helped you to have a better future. It's helped set you up for success in the future. And so, um, you know, I just want to encourage you today, if you want to avoid temptation, you, you really can't avoid temptation, but you can defeat temptation by having a bigger dream and saying no to the good, because. The good, the temptations that come our way, they uh, present themselves, they mask themselves in satisfaction. They mask themselves in feeling good. But you can defeat those good feelings by having something better in the future. You gotta say no to the good. John Maxwell said, you gotta say no to the good so you can say yes to the best no to the good so you can say yes to the best and too many people don't have a best in their mind they don't have a, a best dream so they say yes to the good and it causes them to have to say no to the best later now if you're still alive and you're still breathing I say this all the time if you're still alive and you're still breathing you're still hearing this message today it's not too late. You may have made some mistakes, but you can dream again. You can renew your dream. Don't let anybody steal your dream. So what if up until this point you have given in to every temptation you can imagine? Uh, today is the best time for you to renew your dream, to get a fresh vision of where you want to go. Every day, same time, that light shines through right there. Um, but today is a great day for you to renew your vision, to, to, to write down your dream. What do you want? What, where do you want to go? Um, and I want to, I just want to challenge you with that as my insulin pump type one diabetes, it'll get you, my insulin pump's beeping on me here. Um, <laughs> what is your dream? Do you have one? Is it helping you? It should be. If you have a real dream, it should be helping you say no to things that are distractions from your dream. Dream big. Dream every day. Remind yourself every day of your dream. I think you should write it down. 
but more importantly I think you should just think on it all the time um, I, I'll just share a little I mean, some of you have heard my story but when I was um, when I was in the sixth grade I went to a purity conference people give those a hard time they make fun of them I'll say no to sex um, I went but but at, the, at this particular conference they shared many different stories everybody had a different story some had saved themselves for their spouse some had not but ultimately all of them had good stories at the moment um, that even the ones who had not saved themselves for marriage they were married and um, successfully married and happily married but they still said they had to suffer some of the consequences from their choices before but ultimately what it did was it at the end of the conference we all had to choose what our story was going to be what story did we want to tell and I made a decision right then and there that my story was going to be that I was going to save myself for my future wife the problem with a dream is sometimes we don't know when that dream is going to come to pass we don't know when it's going to uh, when we're going to hit that point and so I mean I'm 12 years old making this having this dream, this vision that I'm going to save myself for my future wife. And I don't know if it's 10, 20, 30 years from that point. And neither do you. So you've got to make a, a choice now and dream now, even though we don't know when that's going to come to pass. So anyway, I, that was kind of my dream and my vision. But then um, I had to remind myself of that every day and I had to keep it on the forefront of my mind so that when temptations did come my way, and they did, that I would keep in the back of my mind my dream. Hey guys, sorry about that technical glitch. Even though it's only been two seconds since you just saw it, it's been a couple hours in real life because I ran out of space on my phone. That's what I get for not backing it up. But anyway, uh, what I was saying was I had to remind myself on a regular basis and keep my, for, my, my dream on the forefront of my mind so that I would not forget so that when the, when the temptations did come my way, I call it avoiding temptation, but really it's not avoiding temptation, it's just defeating temptation. When the temptations do come your way, your dream outweighs the temptation. Your dream outweighs the desires for temporary satisfaction. So you can um, just you can keep your dreams fresh, keep your dreams strong, and have big dreams, big goals, big aspirations, stuff that you are shooting for, and it'll help keep you keep you sane. Um, because what happens for most people is they don't have a dream, they don't have anything bigger than the moment, so they give in to the moment because they don't have anything else they're working for and they're reaching for, and so that's where the challenge comes in developing a dream uh, that's bigger than than the moment and I would tell you the sooner you can do that the better because if you wait to to design your dream life until it's more convenient until you have a little bit more time on your hands <laughs> then you're gonna you're gonna give in to temptations that happen between now and then so if I'm you, and I'm encouraging you to do this. As soon as you cut this video off, you, your mind needs to go, maybe even already right now, your mind needs to be saying, what is my dream? What is my dream? And you can take your dream as far as you can take it in your mind. You know, I wanted to save myself from my future wife because I wanted to look her in her eye and tell her, I saved myself for you. You are the only person I've ever been with in this way. And uh, fortunately, I was able to do that. And she was able to do that say that to me and uh, it was just a, it's a beautiful uh, a, be a beautiful picture of a dream coming to fruition but I also I took that dream a little further and said you know what I also want to save myself because I want to be able to tell the next generation through books and I've written two books so far and I got more on the way get ready through audio programs through uh, podcasts, through videos, YouTube videos, through uh, online programs, through public speaking. I want to be able to tell the next generation. I want to be able to tell young people, teenagers, you have the power in you to save yourself from marriage. I know you don't think you do because hormones are, are wild and crazy. 
but you do. I wanted to be able to uh, to tell you that, and I wanted to be able to tell young people that. And so, um, it's just something that that was so strong on me that I was able to dream big and then live each day with my dream in mind. And and that's what I want you to do. So we're all different. God created each of us with a different set of skills abilities, values, hopes, dreams, things that we want to see accomplished. Uh, He gave each of us a special uniqueness that allows us to help other people. And so um, whatever that looks like for you, I don't know, but my goal is not to tell you what that looks like for you. My goal is to tell you my job is to just bring you to the point where you can make a decision to create a dream and and then take that dream and use it every day of your life to help take your level of living to the next level uh, and then to help you to take that and make a difference in, in the world that we live in. Again, will it be easy? No. But I'm telling you, if you don't have a dream, your life will be much more difficult than it will be if you have a dream and then you take that dream and you use it to be a difference maker in this world, okay? Hope it all makes sense to you. Uh, I hope that brings value to you today. Hope it encourages you. If you're not already my friend on Facebook, and maybe you're watching this because somebody else shared it, which thanks for sharing it, by the way. Um, follow me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash russwarren320. And again, I'm going to keep pounding this. I've got a brand new program that I'm coming out with very, very shortly. Um... And it's called High School Rookie, and it's dedicated specifically, built specifically for incoming high school freshmen. So if you know somebody who's going into high school next year, it's a critical time in their life for them to start dreaming, for them to get their mind right, for them to begin to live the life of their dreams. And so you can go to highschoolrookie.com to check out what's coming your way. You're awesome, guys. Thank you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.